One of the biggest pains as a vibe coder is spending a lot of time working through technical details only to be left with an app that looks really bad. Despite all you may have done to give it style guides and UX guidelines, you still get left with something that just misses the mark. Well, today we're gonna end that for good with one prompt that draws inspiration from the world of product design. So here you can see we have this dashboard for a productivity app. And so the idea for this app is that we can lock users out of going on like social media and stuff like that at certain times of the day. And so pretty boring dashboard that got made for our app. Right. And this is an example of something where you might vibe code it and it comes out and it looks like this. And you're like, meh, doesn't really do a lot for me. Now, the style guide for this app was made using Grok 4, which in hindsight, I probably should have used Claude, which is what I normally use. But despite being very detailed about what I wanted, this is the output that we are now dealing with. So are we doomed? No, not exactly. So let us see what we can do. So one common tactic in the world of product design is generating multiple concepts for a screen or for a problem that you're trying to solve. And so for this dashboard that we have here, there's a few different things that we realistically might want to see in the context of, again, this being like a productivity app, right? Might want to see stuff about how much time I've saved, how much time I've wasted, active sessions, right? There's like a lot of different things that I would probably want to see on this screen. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our UI prompts from a different video and we are going to modify it slightly. And so what we're doing is we're giving an overview of our app. We're telling it where the style guide lives in our app and then what the elevator pitch and the main features are that we are building, right? It needs to have this core blocking functionality, unlock mechanism, account settings, monetization, all that type of stuff. And then what we're saying is I need you to brainstorm three different solutions to the same problem and each angle needs to be unique meaning they need to solve those problems from slightly different perspectives but they still need to conform to our ux and ui guidelines and so all we're going to say is based on our application what should the dashboard look like i want it to be simplistic allowing someone to quickly jump in or out of sessions so given that what should this thing look like and so what we're going to do is we are going to copy this entire prompt and then we're going to hop into our terminal. I'm going to use Claude code for this example, but this works with anything. And then inside of Claude code, I'm going to toggle this into planning mode and I'm going to paste in that prompt and I'm going to let it ride. Okay, so that ran for a minute or two. And now we have three different concrete angles on that core idea, right? So the first dashboard concept is the Zen circle. And now it's going to break down like what's the core visual? What's the layout of this screen? How does a user interact with it? What is the visual hierarchy overall look like, right? So we have this idea of the Zen circle. Then if we scroll down, dashboard concept number two is the timeline, right? So vertical timeline showing your day's focus sessions as blocks. And it's going to go through and do the same thing, right? Layout, interaction, design, visual hierarchy. And then we have this momentum meter, right? A dynamic progress visualization that gamifies focus streaks. And so we have these really clear ideas for what these things could look like. And so now all we're going to ask it to do is implement these three ideas side by side in a new nav bar component so that we can evaluate them. So we want them to actually go build out the designs for each of these so that we can see what they look like. Okay, so that was about four or five minutes or so. And I gave it a little bit of critique and feedback on modifications or what I wanted to see in the dashboard. And we can see now we have our original dashboard that we weren't too happy with. And now we have these three other options. One that is based on status, one that is based on like being a command palette kind of thing, and then one that is based on mindfulness. So let us look at these and see what the difference is. So boom, right away there, this new status oriented dashboard I think looks a ton better, right? If we were just to compare these two side by side, ton more professional looking, very actionable. If I hit this start focus button, it starts pulsating um, before it was actually pulsating red, but overall looks super clean. And then we have these other options down here for, you know, streaks and amount of time I've saved and 
what my next scheduled session is going to be. I can start a focus session right now, what I'm going to be blocking. And these would obviously be like Instagram, um, YouTube, wh whatever, Twitch, all the things that you want to block. So this is a really cool concept. I already think this is 20 times better than this one that we had. Then we have this option for more like of a command palette. So imagine if this was the dashboard, I can pick like different quick actions, which is kind of cool. So I could say, hey, this is my morning routine time. So cue me into my morning routine. And these are the apps that I don't want to have access to in my morning routine. This is what I can't access in work mode, social detox, quick focus sessions, and so on. And then it shows kind of a live activity of what you have done today. When was the last time you were on? What it allowed? What it blocked? This is pretty cool too. I would say if I had to pick between these two though, I personally like this idea of the status timer, but I could see there being value in this and I might even bump this into, maybe it's like a separate feature that we have. And then last but not least, we have this mindfulness page, which I think this is kind of cool how it gives you like a, gives you like a little quote. It's got these cool little, kind of things floating around in the background and then showing you today's balance on your journey, right? So you were 65% focused, 35% distracted, and then it's more like intention focused, right? Set your intention for today. What is your intention for today? Hey, I want to do deep work. Okay, we need to program in time then where you're going to be distraction free for 90 minutes. I kind of like this too. Um, I like this in particular, this today's balance. I might pull this into one of these other dashboards down below and kind of integrate it into our overall designs. Now, a great bonus tip here, if you're not happy with any of those designs or you didn't think that it conformed very well to what your style guide was, you can have Claude or whatever tool you're using go back and grade itself against that standard that you set. So you can say, go look at my UI style guide, go look at my UX principles, and now I want you to grade what you just gave me against that standard. And if it scores, for example, below an A, I would have it go back through and update everything until you are happy with the result. Because again, just like real design, this should be an iterative process. So that's it for this video, guys. Short and sweet. If you want any of the prompts, they are in the description below. And if you could please let me know, do you prefer shorter videos like this one? or longer videos that are like multi-part, little more complicated systems, or again, these shorter, very focused on one type of thing, please let me know in the comments below because I use that feedback to make my videos. So that is it. I will see you next week.